Hello, I'm Ricky Martin, often imitated, never duplicated, and this is Earth Sketchpad, where we draw everything in nature together at the same time, like this. Check it out. This is by George, who is 11, and it is a beautiful monarch butterfly. Look at all the detail on here. There's lovely spots, beautiful orange and black markings. And look, it's hanging on to a couple of, well, I think that's probably a buddleia. Could be, could be a buddleia. I'm not up on my botany. Thanks so much for this, George. It is awesome. So let's make some more. That's funny. The opening title should have started by now. They usually creep up on me, but this week, yeah. Uh-oh. Ah! A sketchpad is where I draw some creatures causing some chaos. And all the ideas come from you. It could be a chicken crashing its way through an award ceremony. It could be a daredevil penguin fired from a cannon. Or, it could be like last week, a fox performing a devastatingly bad magic show with the dodo from not last week, not last week, not last week, not last week, but last week's episode. It's really easy, just get your adult cleaner upper to share with us an amazing idea on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag BBCF Sketchpad, and they'll land right here. Ah, oh, someone forgot to put their name. Ah, oh, there you go. They'll land in this tin via the beautiful and wonderful BBC Earth Kids YouTube team. Check them out, say hi guys. There they are, helping me with all the facts while we're drawing. The Great Unwashed, and there's Jeff in the corner, the OMG. Uh, Jeff, what's that you're saying, mate? Jeff says I have to say something nice about him this week. Um, you've got nice thumbs. Right, it's time to find a creature. And this week we have, oh, there's a few people have suggested this. It's from Casey, Maya and Tom and Luca, and they would like the platypus. One of the world's most awesome animals. Okay, great suggestion, lovely stuff. All right, let's get some music on the go. Get us in the mood for drawing. Perfect. When I draw a duck-billed platypus, which of course what its actual name is, I like to start with its bill. Now, it's not a hard bill like a duck. It's kind of soft, with a kind of suede feel to it. Fill it up to there. And the bill is super impressive because it's full of electroreceptors which helps them navigate underwater and find their food. They sort of find their food by closing their eyes and their ears and then sensing it using magnetic fields. Because not only are these super weird to look at, but they're super advanced at what they do. There's a lot of method in their design. So they've got quite big round heads like this. They're referred to as round boys, if you know what I mean. Little podgy, little podgy animals but gorgeous nevertheless. There's two little nostrils there. Its eyes, it's like a little half circle like that, with another smaller half circle at the front, because they're kind of cute looking. Now when a platypus was first brought back to the UK, because they were discovered in Australia, they are native to eastern, southern Australia, sort of Tasmania area, they thought that people had cut up a load of animals and stitched them back together like a Frankenstein animal. They thought they put a duck's bill on an otter's body and then a beaver's tail. But these guys are a little bit more mixed up than that because these little fun little cheeks here, when they're hunting for food, they keep them in their cheeks like a hamster or a chipmunk. So just draw its little claws here. So at the moment, I've drawn the claws out and they're more pronounced when they're on land. But when they go into water, the claws are extract and their feet are webbed, helps them swim. They use the front paws to pull them through the water and the back paws and the tail to steer. This is a fun thing to draw. There we go. It's where they store uh, body fat, quite a lot of it, in case there's a shortage of food. These guys can eat up to 20% of their body weight a day. But that isn't the most amazing thing. The most amazing things are that the males have a little barb on the back of their back legs. The women have it when they're younger, but it drops off. And this barb has venom in it. 
that's one of the only venomous mammals on Earth. And then the females, they lay eggs. One of only two mammals on Earth that lay eggs. The other being the animal that was our secret sketch last week. Check it out. Just add a little, little bits in it here, this little fairy guy. I'm just enjoying the other paws in the back, just... There we go. There is the duck-billed platypus. Thank you for all the people who suggested that. You are all brilliant. I love drawing these guys, they're so much fun. Now it's time to put this creature into some chaos. So let's grab a little idea from the ideas team. Okay, this is from Harry, age seven. Now, originally he asked for this chaos to be with a gorilla, which is also an excellent animal, but we're gonna pinch your chaos because it's still awesome and pop it on the platypus. And that is in the desert driving a hot rod. It kind of looks like it's already on a hot rod, so this could work out really well. All right, let's have some new music. I've done it too tight, haven't I? Yep, good, good, here we go. So I'm just gonna reposition this platypus. Ooh. And that's a round boy, look at it. There we go. I'm just gonna rub out a couple of bits so that I can put it inside of a car. Don't worry about the tail, we're gonna get that back in. That's gonna be really important to this sketch. Okay. So I'm gonna draw it inside the hot rod like this with the little legs squashed in, holding on to the steering wheel. And the front of the car is gonna go like this. It's gonna be one of those old school style ones with with the air hole at the front to help cool down the machine. Wheel like that. Another wheel on the other side. A little bit of definition in the wheels here. It shows that they're going fast if you draw these lines around it like this. A bit popping out. And those really big old chrome exhaust pipes. I'm going to draw a little bit of flames popping out the end. Like it's got turbo going on. And the back end, traditional massive hot rod wheels. It's going to be one of those cars where the engine pops out the back, you know, because it's too big to be enclosed inside the body, too powerful. And well, I said the tail is going to be quite useful here because they're going to be using it as a spoiler. There you go. Yeah, it's a clever platypus. So that spoiler creating that downforce to help it grip the road better, or in this case, sand dunes. The other side there, have the exhausts and those massive wheels. <laughs> It'll go faster stripe. And they are in the desert, so maybe I should put on some racing goggles. There we go. I mean, <laughs> where would the strap go? <laughs> it's going to go all the way around its bum like that, because it's <laughs> like its head. There we go. Uh, loads of sand kicking out the back here. June going over the top. In the desert, so a blistering sun in the corner, which of course, just a nice big circle. And I like to draw the sun's rays like this. Just arcs, pointing towards the circle. A bit more tune in the background. The only desert I can think of is the Sahara, so I'm going to add a couple of Egyptian things in the background. Like a sphinx. I'm going to draw a cat sphinx though. bit more fun in it. Basically a giant stone cat in the desert. Meow. And pyramid or something. Uh, there's a bit of open space here. It's an adder. I feel like maybe they're involved in a race. Uh, so let's have another competitor here. Whose vehicles, oh it's seen better days. It's a bit of smoke coming out the engine there desperately in need of an MOT. What could it be? Wheels. Yeah, this vehicle has certainly been around a bit. I 
drive is just using one hand to steer and the other wing to lean back. Super chill. Because it is, of course, the dodo from not last week, not last week, not last week, but last week's episode. Or, strictly speaking, from every single episode since the first time I drew it in its golf cart. Absolutely laying back. Roof there. It's got a hole in it though. Very careless owner. And there's somebody just leaning on the back of it. Navigating, pointing the way. And who is it? It's now friend and racing team partner, the Magician Fox. There's cards flying everywhere because it's that fox again. Rubbish magician. Have to be holding on because they're going super duper fast. Weirdly, the hot rod's being beaten by this golf buggy. And there's a little bit more space down here, and I think who's in the lead? But our uh, manual pheasant. Do right, his, his comb or his crown is going to have to be brought down a little bit so I can put his space helmet on because he's just got back from space. What am I saying? How has it come to this? Okay. Yeah, this, this guy should be back in the Himalayas by now. I think it's more a case of um, after the astronaut caught those planets this guy couldn't get off that rocket that he was riding, so he's just been whizzing around the earth until it runs out of fuel. Oh my days. Now the platypus is a fast swimmer, but it's obviously not a fast driver. And there we have the platypus driving a hot rod in the desert in a race with the Himalayan monal pheasant, the dodo from not last week, not last week, not last week, last week's episode, and the magician fox. Thank you for your suggestion, Harry. You've allowed me to go completely bonkers with my drawing, and that was really fun to do. There is a creature in some serious chaos. Now that is enough artwork from me. It's time to see some of yours. And if you'd like to share with the show artwork, just get your adult butler, take a picture of it and pop it on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. So this here is from William and it is an awesome fox. Look at this. Now I love a piece of art where you can see the brush strokes and he has painted it beautifully. Nice little black ears, he's white bit under the chin, very recognizable as a fox. And look at this brush, beautiful stuff, all bushy. What I also like about this is the very brown orange colour, which of course is a complementary colour of blue, which really makes it pop. Lovely work, William. This is awesome. Ooh, and these are from Molly, who is six, and Finley, who is eight. Beautiful sunflowers, inspired by nature, just as Vincent van Gogh was. Look at the detail on these. Fantastic stuff. Really beautiful. So I thought these things were full of detail, and then I whip across and there's a very beautiful take on the very famous Starry Night. This one's by Finley. Look at all that detail. And this one is by Molly. Brilliant stuff, guys. Absolutely love it. Remember to get your adult Twitter or Instagrammer to share with us your works of art using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. Don't forget to put your name. And now it's time for the world famous Secret Sketch. <laughs> The secret sketch is dead simple. 
All you need is something to draw with and a piece of paper and you draw along with me. Only I know what the secret sketch is going to be but by the end of it you're going to have some amazing facts and a work of art you didn't even know you could do. So BBC Earth Kids YouTube team, do you have your pens and paper at the ready? So without further ado, let's get on with it. Oh, we need a bit of a super sketch music. There we go. So this is going to be a really quick one. So I'm going to start with two really long legs. I want you to just follow along with me to draw a long line down like this. Back up to the top. Very thin legs, isn't it? Now these guys are Australian. If I tell you any more than that, it's going to totally give it away. Uh, the females like to eat the men during mating. Whoa. So draw this bit around like that. And then a nice big bulbous bit up here. It's like a puffed out chest, isn't it? I'm gonna draw, let's call them arms. Maybe I'm trying to throw you off again, sticking out the top. Putting the hands in the air like they just don't care. Yeah, I said that. I just said that. What did I say that for? Not like that. Ooh, these guys are actually super tiny. The females are about a centimetre and the males are only four millimetres. Add another leg in here. And another one in here. Come on, you've got to guess what it is by now. It's not a potato, Chris. Although, I have left a potato in the cupboard for a long time and it, it did look like this after a while. And another one here. Keep this thing, bulbous hit bit, coming around like that. Now I'm going to do a pattern that will very much give it away. Now this is red because it is a warning. Tiny little fangs at the front here. Tiny little fangs, but a very strong bite and very strong venom. But don't worry, there is an anti-venom. Those little eyes here, eight little eyes. They're compound eyes. And if you want, you can colour this in black, but I, I'm going to leave it like this. And just at the back, just because I think aesthetically, it's nice to have it in the picture, like it's hanging in. But these guys actually make very messy webs. Because it is, of course, the Redback Spider, also known as the Australian Black Widow. Okay, BBC Earth Kids YouTube team, how did you get on? Let's see yours. There they are. Oh, you knew it was a spider all along, didn't you? Well done, guys. Amazing stuff. It was, of course, the Redback Spider. And spiders, incidentally, are this week's featured creature on the brand new series, Wild Bites, which is where you go for a pizza in the woods. It's not really, it's the fun fact file about some of the most amazing animals in wildlife. And it's right here on the BBC Earth Kids YouTube channel. Aren't we good to you? They're so good to you. Now we'd love to see how your secret sketch went, so please share your beautiful picture with us using your adult minion and get them to put it on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag BBC Earth Sketchpad. We want more of your pictures, so please keep sending them in. Oh, it won't stop now. There we go. And that's it. Don't forget to check out all of the other rad stuff on the BBC Earth Kids YouTube channel. Bye! <laughs>